Hi everyone and welcome to Southern Motors, Michigan's leading muscle and classic car dealer since 1978. Remember, you can always go online and check out our updated inventory at southernmotors.com. Today, guys, we're going to take a look at just a wicked cool 1973 Chevrolet Camaro. This is a uh, LT. Really neat car, guys. I like it. I actually bought it at a show down in North Carolina, but it is a Tennessee car. Um, it has a uh, factory red car. Um, I like it. Uh, you know, I give a hey, little information here. I like the car. I like the look. I like the powertrain. I think it's just a good, solid, straight old fun car that whoever gets it's just going to have a blast with it. Um, this car, now the guy swears up and down. I'm not a big mileage guy, man. I've been doing this for so many years, I've heard it all. But uh, he swears up and down this car, I think it's in the 40s, 45,000 if I remember right, that this car has 45,000 actual miles on it. I will say this, when I got the Tennessee title, it does say actual miles on the Tennessee title. Um, I made a copy of that before I turned it into our state of Michigan, um, so that will go with the car. But supposedly this was a 45,000 uh, actual mile car. It does have all the original interior. As I look around, I can definitely see some evidence of that. The car has probably always been a pretty nice car. Um, he did not paint it. This car was painted, he said, over 20 years ago. It's clean, it's straight. Yes, as we walk around it, you can see some stone, stone packs and some blemishes, but very, very nice. Um, car sits good, runs and drives excellent. Um, factory red car with all the original black uh, vinyl interior in it. And uh, like I say, you can see, you can nitpick some stuff, little stone packs. I believe most of the trim's original except for the, uh, sorry, my guys left a little wax on it. Um, Again, little stone packs, little stuff like that's what I'm talking about as you walk around. You can see some age in that front bumper. I believe that's the original front bumper. Again, little stone packs, um, but nice, nice car. And I will say this, man, turn the key, drive it. Man, this thing drives great. It's got, he said, about a uh, 2016 it's had a um, let's call it a body up restoration except for the paint um, it's got a ZZ4 aluminum headed um, uh, a Chevrolet crate engine in it it's got a 200 R4 automatic overdrive trans they even the subframes got all brand new bushings on it um, so that you know they they did a what do you want to call it mechanical uh, resto mod to it Lowered it down. It's got a. It's got the stock ten bolt rear end in it with. Uh, I think he said three two three gear. Sorry, man. I'm getting ahead of myself, man. It's freezing out here, so they're probably okay there, Jordan. They're far enough away. You'll be able to back up and go. Clean, straight old car. And like I say, if you get in it and drive it it drives outstanding now I believe this rear bumper has been replaced it's too nice again original type LT car it was original 350 car uh, again they upgraded it to a uh, ZZ4 crate engine you can see that thing's nice and straight down the sides they've lowered the whole car about two inches uh, it's got the uh, eight, uh, I believe those are 18 inch American racing torque thrusts uh, Toyo rubber all the way around it. Sorry guys, my bad. Again, like I say, you can see just... Again, I don't want to pick the car apart. But I want you to know what you're buying. Does it need paint? No, I would not paint this car. I think this is a guy that doesn't want to spend a million bucks and wants to turn the key and go have some fun with a car. And like I say, you can go to your, old, your uh, local shows and cruises. And, uh, and, and stand stand tall next to it. Dual sport mirrors. I love the look, man. This car's got a great stance. Front disc brakes. If you're seeing anything there? That's just a little wax on it, guys. Uh, 
Figured around 3,000 miles on the drivetrain. Uh, again, aluminum headed, ZZ4, 350, 355 horsepower engine. You can see it's got the bow tie, aluminum intake, aluminum head, stock exhaust manifolds. And again, if you look down, you can see it's got all new frame bushings in it and everything. Subframe bushings, I should say. Power steering, power front disc brakes, vintage AC, heat and air, it works. Two hundred R four automatic overdrive trans. I know a lot of guys are getting really upset. Cars are getting sold. Uh, believe me, I got a lot of emails this weekend. Cars are getting sold before they're getting advertised. Guys, I'm telling you, I'm not going to change my process. I've been doing this for a long time. I do the videos because I, I do them myself. You're saying, hi, people are telling me, hire other people to do them. I, listen, I do this because I enjoy it, guys. I'm a car guy having fun. Um, when I do these videos, I'm giving you my opinion. Maybe you don't think that's a value. I do. So um, it's just going to be the way it is. And again, I, some guys just buy the cars before my guys will do videos. Heck, they're buying them now before they'll even get here. So I do apologize. I wish I could be quicker. Now, again, this is all the original interior, but it's my process and uh, just what I do. Again, this is original. Original carpet, original sill plates. Original Type LT steering wheel, 45631. And again, I'll give you a copy of the Tennessee title. It does say actual miles. Factory dash, factory gauges, aftermarket radio, all that works. You can see the dash pad's all original. It's nice, it's not cracked or busted. Um, it's got an H-pipe with the original crossover style dual exhaust. Um, 10 bolt rear and I think he said it's a 323 in there it's nothing big it's definitely turn the key and cruise that's just a little wax in there guys cool car clean straight old car um, it is all spackle coated in the, I think yeah it's all spackle coated in the trunk um, I think he did say the guy before him when this car was painted did change the quarters. I think it's got new quarters on it, full quarters. I think he said there was a little bit of rust in the bottom of the quarters and the guy didn't want it, you know, he didn't want to bond anything up. So he went ahead and put full quarters on it, which is kind of what people do nowadays because panels are available. See that crossover style exhaust. I got some pictures of the floors and everything for you. Front sway bar. Fun car, man. I mean, really a fun car to run down the road. Again, sorry, a little wax there. Factory wood grain. Just a little dust. Seats look good. Looks like it's got all the original seat belts in it. Oh, sorry guys, my back is just driving me crazy. Go ahead, Jordan, fire it up. We probably want to roll this window up, Jordan. It's gonna be a little cold going down the road. Check marks there. So just kick the air on. Like I say, all right, it's R134. Turn the key, point the direction. Great running and driving car. Really a car that's built to drive. Yeah, 
Might have got a little cold out on the road. Fit and finish excellent on the car. Tack works. I don't think the clock is hooked up. All your other gauges are working. See the car holds good oil pressure. Backup lights work. Radio works, blower motor works. Of course, it's got the upgraded vintage uh, um, controls for it. Doors open and close nice. I know the wipers work. Yeah. Oh, we might have a bright out on that other side. I don't know if it come on. Again, make sure you keep track of our inventory, guys. You can do that at southernmotors.com. Another great way to keep in touch with us is through our Instagram or our Facebook page. Definitely subscribe to our YouTube, guys. I can't stress that enough. You can do that by clicking the little button at the bottom. That way you get a notification every time I post a new video. That's a good car right there. Got a great stance.